Carrie Ann, it's great to meet you. Hi. Nice How you doing? Yourself. And Keanu, my friend, it is great to see you again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carrie Ann, I'm going to start with you. How much convincing did it take for you to return to a Matrix movie? None. No convincing whatsoever. The sharing of that idea that we may do it again, and I was just completely 100% in. By the way, IMAX is the only way to see this movie. I saw it on a huge screen, and I was awesome. just taking everything in. But here you come in that long, dark coat. I got chills. I'm getting chills right now, even just mentioning it. What cool. did you feel when you were back in that long, dark coat? Yeah, after a few fittings, um, yeah, it felt good. It, it, is, it is something to put it on. It was something for me to put it on. And, uh, but once we got there and we started to film, you know, it was, it was cool to like, especially because I'm trying to save Trinity. And uh, so to have that, have that armor on and just walk in, I felt ready. You both are just made for these movies. And Carrie Ann, in your opinion, what makes for a good Matrix movie? Uh, definitely starts with the story, um, and that's all with Lana and Lily Wachowski, and obviously the first three movies, and in this one with Lana, it's the ideas and the different concepts and all the different layers of those ideas, I think, that are the foundation of it all. Kiana, what? how long does it take to film one of those famous Matrix fight scenes, and actually, how much training does it take to get ready? They're pretty intense. Um, yes, they are, but they're fun. Um, let's see, let's see, depending on the sequence, but uh, I have a fight with Smith that I think we shot for between three to five days, three days. And uh, we trained for, what, about eight weeks? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, we'll close with this then. Uh, for Christmas, do you want a red pill or a blue pill, Keanu Reeves? Uh, sir, I, today I'm going to take a red pill. <laughs> okay. And you know what, Carrie Ann, let me ask you this since I got a second. Uh, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, I, see, I see what he did. I see what he just did right there. Awesome. Carrie Ann, what do you want for Christmas? World peace. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be fantastic? All right. You both, uh, again, fantastic. By the way, Kanu, mom says hi. She's listening to the right. You were in an elevator with mom and I at the Four Seasons a couple of years ago. She says hi. Mom, you there? Hi, Where's mom. <laughs> hi, mom. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You Hope you're well. <laughs> you're awesome. You both are great. Thank you for your time today. Fantastic movie. I hope there's a five. <laughs> <laughs> I love the reaction. My man, look at you. What's, What's up? going on? How long has it been? Like, what, two weeks or something like that? Something like that. You know, something we like talked Candyman. Dude, man, I'll tell you what, though. It's always a treat. I knew I was talking to you today, and I was like, I got super excited because it's like catching up with a good friend. So, again. Yeah, how you doing, man? All right. Uh, you're in a Matrix movie, dude. I don't yes, need sir. to remind you, but I want to know when, when was your wow moment? When when did it when did you realize Matrix was happening all around you? It was at the table read. And uh, you know, you go in, you meet everybody, you try to keep it cool and professional. And you do keep it cool. You don't even really have to try because sometimes that's just the job. You know, you go, you keep it cool and professional, and we're there. And uh, we get to a line. I won't say what the line is, but Keanu says a line. Very it's sort of in the vein of that, uh, I still know Kung Fu line, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my mind just exploded. I'm like, oh my God, I'm in the Matrix. I can't believe it. And the man is sitting right there. Um, and that happened several times, man, because uh, the, the movie is so iconic. Some of the lines are so iconic that we get to repeat and that we get to, you know, mess around with. And uh, it's the Matrix, man. Dude, I know. In fact, when I saw you, uh, we saw this on a huge screen, and everyone watching us right now, oh, yeah. you need to find the biggest like IMAX times 10 screen, because yeah. that's what this movie deserves to be seen. And when I saw you, I, I yelled at the screen. I know you're supposed to be quiet, but I was like, my dude, my dude. My dude. I was yelling, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the movie. Um, all right, uh, let's talk Morpheus, your character. And we're not giving anything away, but I want fans that are watching us right now, I'm going to let you set up, Morpheus, what we're expecting when we see you in this movie. 
Yeah, the, I mean, this is a character. Uh, he, he, he is Morpheus, but he's not quite Morpheus. But he is Morpheus, you know, for sure. Uh, and he is figuring out what that means for himself. You know, he is uh, uh, sort of on a journey of self-discovery, and he gets to figure out you know who he wants to be and how he wants to exist in the world, and and uh, and he's also aiding aiding Neo to get to where he needs to get as well. So, um, you know, you have a, a character who is very much aware of of the of the history of the Matrix, of the lexicon of the Matrix, uh, but he's also pretty you know witty and sort of tongue in cheek about how he how he references that old world, uh, uh, and and very much self aware of how he exists in the current world. So. Uh, that's a little bit of a complex explanation, but it'll all make sense once you see the film for sure. I knew you would come with it on that one. All right. Uh, yeah. It's just you and me and the millions that are watching this right now. So yeah. I figured I can ask this question. No doubt. Did you get to keep anything from the set? Did you get any souvenir from, because my, I'm, dude, it's a Matrix movie. We've established yeah. that. But tell yeah. me you at least got to keep something. I pocketed a couple of things. I pocketed a couple of things. I may I may have a little you know a little key from the key shop. May or may not have a red and blue pill somewhere, you know, somewhere in, in there. You know. Uh but you know what? If you see Jess, tell her that I'm looking for her because she took my Morpheus glasses and and I want those back. I want them back. <laughs> Priyanka, good to see you again. Hi Dave. How are you? Good to see you again. You actually met my mother the last time I interviewed you. We were there for the <laughs> the, the the big the rom com that we talked about, and yeah. uh, she was so excited to see you. Great, great to, <laughs> to see you. All right, let's talk Matrix. And um, first of all, when did you find out, and what was your reaction that you were actually going to be in a Matrix movie? It's a big deal. Yes, it was a big deal. Um, I got a call from my agent saying Lana wanted to meet me while I was in India and filming. I'd auditioned for the part, so it was a callback. And um, I, she, I was told that she wants to meet me in San Francisco tomorrow while I'm in India. So I rushed to the airport, got onto a flight like any actor would, any greedy actor would, and went straight from the airport to meet her spoke to her, talked about the part, and really like tried to convince her that I, I deserve to be in the movie. And at the end of the meeting, she asked Amy, her assistant, to bring me the script. And I got this freshly printed script, hot off the presses, and she said, welcome to The Matrix. So it was quite a pinch me moment. Oh, I just got chills. Thank you for yeah. sharing that story with me. I love hearing that type of, of stuff. Who did you tell first that you were in The Matrix? My mom. <laughs> Yay! My mom, she, <laughs> See? Because I had Actually, told my her. Mom, my mom really is listening right now to the right mom. Say hi to Priyanka. Oh, hi, mom. Got, good to see holidays. you again. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right. What was your wow moment when you actually, okay, so now you're in the movie, but you're there. Uh, was it, did you see Keanu Reeves in the full coat? Tell me what your wow moment was when you actually started filming. I don't think I had a wow moment while I was filming because I, what I was doing was just so technical that I had to forget about my excitement and my giddiness and actually just focus on doing my job and doing it well, otherwise I would embarrass myself, right? So I wanted to make sure that I got what I had to do right, but I think when we started doing promotions, when we started doing the press tour for the movie, that's when it first hit me when I was sitting with everyone and I was like, oh, that, that, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Did you go back and watch any of the previous films to get in the mood, get in the spirit of getting ready? I did. Um, I think most of us did. I did. Um, I watched it to just sort of refresh what I had already seen to understand the intentionality specifically around my character. Um, and because I think it's important to understand her, obviously her backstory to be able to build where she goes. So yeah, I did. Were you able to keep like a souvenir, maybe just a keychain or something? Because I feel like there are a lot of props to this movie. If I were in it, I would have been like, oh, you know what? I don't think they're going to miss this little thing. <laughs> it's just you and I talking and the millions watching right now. Well, it'll be our secret. It'll be our secret. Well, I was just, as the new kid, you know, in class, I was terrified of getting kicked out. I was like, I'm going to follow every rule. I'm not going to make any mistakes. I'm going to do everything by the book. And the only thing I ever did was take one sneaky selfie on set with with Trinity's pod because I was just really excited about seeing it and it looked stunning. So I was like, before anyone sees, I took a sneaky selfie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Yaya took the Morpheus glasses. Everybody's admitted the- I know! Things. I wish yeah. I knew that. I would have taken something. 
<laughs> exactly. Listen, happy holidays to you and your family. Please tell Nick I said hi and uh, thanks for everything. Seriously, enjoyed seeing you again, catching up today. Thank you so much. And happy holidays to you and to your mom.